Hi everyone and welcome to this video on the inverse demand function, the total revenue function, and the marginal revenue function. So just a simple problem in mathematical economics uh, before we get into formal optimization things. So we have a problem here stating that the inverse demand for a commodity uh, is given by the demand function, the inverse demand function that is um, P is equal to 200 minus 0.05Q. Right, so it's your typical inverse demand function wherein clearly the sign is negative, right? And that means as you increase price, right, then probably quantity demanded will fall as a result. The question is asking three things, right? One is to find the total revenue function. So that revenue function will be a function of Q. Okay? And then find the marginal revenue function. And then lastly, what is marginal revenue when, say, quantity takes a certain value? Okay, so how do we solve for this? Well, it's uh, it's simple. So solution. So first thing, let's try to answer number one. What is the total revenue function? So total revenue, again, will be a function of Q. And total revenue for any firm is just basically price times quantity, right? We have a demand function there that represents B. So we can just plug that in. So that's 200 minus 0.05Q times Q basically. And then we just spread around the Q, right? So we get 200 Q minus 0 0.05 Q squared. And that's our total revenue function, right? So that's uh, the entirety of total revenue. So number two is to find the marginal revenue function. Well, marginal revenue, as with any marginal term, is just the first order derivative of the total function. So in this case, Marginal revenue will also be a function of Q, and it's just the first order derivative of the total revenue function with respect to Q. So you get 200 minus, okay, so here you have to apply the power rule, right? So 2 times 0 0.05, that's 0 0.1 times Q, right? And you get that. So marginal revenue as a function of Q is just going to be 200 minus 0 0.1 Q. And that's our marginal revenue function, right? So uh, we, we were able to compute for the total revenue function and the marginal revenue function as a result. The last one is just basically what is marginal revenue when Q is 100, right? So basically we just plug in the 100, the 100 there, right? So that's MR okay, Q is equal to 200 minus 0 0.1 times uh, 100 right? So when Q is 100, so that's just going to be 200 minus 0.1 times 100, that's just 10. So in this case, marginal revenue as a function of U will be 190. Right? So simple calculations, we haven't found, you know, anything, we haven't done any optimization, just simple deriving. But that's basically how to derive the total revenue function, marginal revenue function, and evaluate a value given an inverse demand function. So thank you for your attention and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.